Hello and welcome to my channel Hiking, Fishing, Nature and Animals. I'm going to introduce three hacks so that the video doesn't get too long. I would like to begin with the light that we need when we take pictures of our fish at night. Carp anglers usually bring a lot of tackle to the bank. Yeah, when you, this is, actually that's my, my fishing bag. Yeah quite heavy there are some leads in it <laughs> but uh, in there I have all uh, all the stuff all the tackle that I need uh, to uh, catch carp and my uh, my photo equipment so I know they are perfect well, there's a motorbike let's wait until it's gone if you would like to invest money yeah, and if you have enough uh, space in your bags you can buy everything but my idea is to have a very good effect with the least uh, weight and uh, space that uh, is in this bag so where do I get my light from I take my pictures with my uh, smartphone, as many anglers do, uh, and I use these uh, cheap and simple uh, headlights with uh, a piece of uh, mesmerizing uh, steel, which I have fixed with silicon at its back. You can adjust the angle and I have also fixed a mesmerizing or yeah, a piece of steel with silicon at the end of a bank stick Peng. here it goes and then I ca can use this as a spotlight uh, up to two meters I use uh, two of them one spots the carp and the other one is focused on the angler. I've also kept uh, that uh, ribbon that uh, holds the lamp to your head. In case I lose uh, or cannot find my regular headlamp I can still uh, take one of these easy and simple. Uh, I'm not a photographer, it's not necessary. Modern smartphones with artificial, intelli artificial intelligence will do the rest for you. So you need not bring one of these uh, bright rings or whatever you can buy on the internet that uh, uh, goes with uh, smartphones to take pictures. Fate boat batteries. This is the battery, a rechargeable battery of my uh, standard bait boat, which is uh, a uh, lipo li lithium, lithium polymer battery with a Tamiya uh, plug and uh, 6500 milliampere. This uh, can be used at any uh, uh, at any instrument that uh, charges uh, these uh, battery types, or if you want to uh, to measure uh, the electric tension or whatsoever, they can be universally used. Unlike these. Uh, Chinese uh, batteries. It's also a rechargeable one. That's the battery of my uh, of my of my toy bait boat. Yeah, I've I've bought one of these uh, budget bait boats because of curiosity and to play with. Or if I would like to use a camera that goes out and film the other bait boat uh, when 
uh, the line is being taken to the spot and dropped so I need not uh, expensive high-end bait boat for a camera the, uh, a toy bay boat will do the job however these uh, bait boats usually use these uh, DC sockets and plugs and they are not really uh, compatible with uh, with the instruments that I have to charge or, or, or with the charger uh, they also del they come with the charger but uh, it's a charger that takes a lot of time five hours six hours and uh, these one here are charged in 30 minutes so I have therefore bought and ordered uh, these uh, DC plugs and sockets on the internet uh, you need not be an electrician to fix uh, the wires because uh, the plugs and the sockets tell you where plus and minus are and I've also bought uh, the Tamiya socket and plugs to fix that. So this gives me the chance to connect with uh, the Chinese uh, battery and now I can use my regular charger and uh, the instruments I use to uh, check the inside, the inner life of the battery which has four chambers there's no balancing uh, plug so you don't need a balancing socket uh, and uh, I have the chance to charge it much faster yeah, very simple very cheap uh, little hack I think I spent two euro and thirty cents on it remote controls this is the big quite heavy remote control that goes with my uh, high-end bait boat uh, a heavy thing well uh, not heavy but well, it's solid yeah you must hold it with two hands it has already a ring to fix this uh, this uh, strap this belt yeah that you can push over your head nothing can happen if it falls down and you are cl uh, close to the water it cannot fall into the water and uh, that would ruin it now this uh, ribbon uh, will hold it back uh, you know that and uh, well I can also if I use it I can also <laughs> use it with uh, one hand and with it rests on my beer belly so a very useful thing, especially this uh, this uh, ring is uh, already uh, fixed at uh, the remote control. The budget bait boats come without a ring. Yeah, that's uh, the latest development. The re uh, remote controls get smaller, which is quite nice. They are not heavy. Uh, one hand is always free however this uh, little thing can easily get lost yeah, you don't find it in the bivy it can drop more easily than the big one that you hold with two hands and then it's gone so it would also be nice if you could fix a kind of <laughs> security system uh, but uh, there is no no ring nothing yeah you c nothing there to fix this uh, little carabine here therefore I have uh, you can see it I have uh, uh, I have fixed a uh, uh, that that doesn't come with that doesn't come with uh, 
the remote control uh, I have fixed a little ring with uh, a wire holder or yeah, cable holder uh, don't know the expression in English but what it's called that tightly sits between the joystick and uh, uh, the lower part of the remote control where you have uh, the buttons here uh, you fix it very very tightly and uh, then it always the ring always stands up even if you use it without uh, the ribbon uh, you have a better grip when it is in your hand or you just fix it with the little carabine and here we go over your head you can reload the bait boat it doesn't get lost so that's all for today uh, I hope you enjoyed this short video maybe it has inspired you to uh, do something similar or if you have better or similar ideas let me know about them if you've enjoyed the video give me a thumb up or leave a subscription see you soon again bye bye